back again for yet another episode, and uh, I finally decided it's time to get around to doing what I was going to do. Well, eventually. I'm probably not going to build the whole thing just yet. I want to show you guys what I plan to do. I think I'll do it right here. I don't leave much lawn space, but I don't really need too much anyhow. Um, basically, my plan is for the entire... I'm going to have a three high wall like this I'll just build a chunk of it here I'm gonna have to rip out a lot more land and do this and that but it's on the list of things to do um, but uh, this is why it's gonna take a lot of iron I wanna put iron fencing on the top the whole way across except probably shouldn't have it right here because I want to put an archway like so hmm not sure probably need stairs on the side of that to make it look better but uh, I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment Considering there's no point worrying too much about the fence, it doesn't really exist yet. And I chopped up a piece of my lawn. I may or may not be a little bit loud at the moment. I'm kind of sitting in my chair without my glasses on, so I'm kind of leaning forwards, rather close to my screen. And. I don't really have a whole lot to say. I probably shouldn't just sit here and build this for the entire episode, though. Uh, of course, all we really need is the front wall at the moment. Yeah, I think I'll put some stairs up there, and then I'll put some stairs in here upside down on the inside. And SMP keeps on causing my sheep to escape, and it's really starting to get on my nerves. But I haven't bothered to deal with that yet, and I... I want to find a uh, another stronghold. Uh, I tried to clean up some sp uh, my inventory and the storage, and there's a lot more people on now than there was in the previous episodes. Let me just get over everything situated here. Not situated, situated. Okay, I've got an extra sword. Um, so yeah, I uh, built down. As you can tell, it's my standard storage area I got going on here. But I think I should replace these with stone half slabs, maybe, just because the stone doesn't contrast very well with a lot of the things. At least in my opinion. I don't know. It might partly because of my texture pack, but cobble. Gravel, dirt, iron, gold, which I also store my coal in there. And a lot of the other stuff is still just sitting where it was. Uh, and on another note, I'm actually running low on wood, believe it or not. I haven't really been harvesting it or anything. And, yeah. Pretty much what I have on me is what I've got. Still got all this glass and sand though. I think I might actually want to take a little bit of sand. It's very good for getting down. And but then again, I kinda wanted to go to the nether and find that fortress. Um now if they want to sleep, they'll be able to do it when I'm in the nether. And I really I really am not going to need that in the nether. Uh, 
And let's see. Yeah, I'll just keep everything I have on me. I don't know why I moved the sword. There we go. I'm going to have to figure out some kind of... I still haven't finished the library, so I come walking over here and I figure... Why not? Something I need to do more frequently. Whenever I have more access to more iron and... Well, not more iron. I actually have to do it now. Just, uh... If I put a second row of pistons and all that, it should eliminate the, uh... The loss. All of it should get pushed into the water, but, uh, we are going to find a stronghold. I've obviously been this way. There you go. I don't want to go there. Oh, there's a torch. Access glowstone. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, in my head, I was just, you know, just had Admiral Akbar screaming, It's a trap! And it was. The glowstone was hovering over lava. And what do we got up here? I'm actually just going to put my glasses on real quick, sit back in my chair, and my volume should be a little bit different now. What's going on down here? Mm, dead end. Hmm. kind of want to go across there, but I definitely did not bring the materials to do so. I can't really see anything over there anyhow. So I'm just gonna pick up my torches and go back. Pick them up because I'm using them as a marker. So much of this place looks the same that finding my way back tends to be more difficult than it should be. Follow these torches and see if they lead me anywhere useful. This is really not a good spawn point into the nether. This is actually terrible. feel like attacking a pigman. If I'm going to attack one, I should probably do it the safe way. May also be possibly the cowardly way. But what are you going to do?
I'm gonna fight Pigman. I'm just gonna fight them head on. Right after I fill up my food bar. I hear more of them. They have to be below me. Now, where are they? It's a very interesting little cave. Yes, I hear you, Mr. Guest. Hmm. Let's uh, see how far we can get with 51. If I'm going to die someplace, it's definitely going to be in the nether. Especially screwing with Pigman. But... We are going to just continue along here. Twenty, I might be able to make it. I don't make it and he destroys my bridge, I am screwed. Wow. Perfect. Burning. Okay. I have five golden nuggets. That's you got. Turn to sender. Oh, there's his experience. Some gunpowder. No gas tier, unfortunately. <laughs> Attacked me, how about you? <laughs> I'm lucky I might get like a golden sword or something. Not that it's really of any use, but <laughs> <laughs> You're doing some really interesting pathing there, man. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh my two. Got a gold bar and seven gold ingots. Seven gold ingots, seven gold nuggets. Wow. So 
Retarded, apparently? I'm, I'm retarded. Pigman, are you mad? You mad? Why are you no mad? Why don't you come down here? That's a nifty little hole. You end up being lost in the nether. They don't know me. So, to hell with them. Oops, I only need one. Hmm. This is going to be a very long episode of uh, running through the nether, it looks like. Because I'm probably not going to be able to find my way back out very quickly. And I didn't bring my flint and steel in case the portal gets destroyed. Do you see some easy access glowstone? Or what appears to be easy access. The last time I said that, it had a uh, pool of lava underneath it. I should have just brought uh, obsidian with me. Damn pigman tried to shove me into fire. Yeah, I don't know why I was wasting my pick on that. Especially considering I didn't bring any extras, so... Yeah. What am I at? Ooh, 60. That's good. It's 15 blocks. It's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not too bad. Of course, I'm not using fortune. I do want to fight him. You, come here. And while you're at it, drop some magma balls. Oh! Backing away, backing away, backing away. These guys are also great experience. I'm sure you, as you're able to tell by all the small little experience balls all over the ground. Oh yes, magma cream! I still need to find a blaze rod though. Which requires me to find another fortress. Turns out that this uh, is not the greatest nether for finding that. I gotta be real careful around this. I'm not going down there, not with that glitched lava sitting there. No way in hell. Let us just continue forwards here. This may end up being a double nether episode, or maybe I'll make it extra long, because the last one was extra short. I think a section of the world hasn't loaded yet. The mobs are all loaded. A section of the world itself doesn't feel like it, I guess. Close to it, it starts to load. Hmm. Very interesting. 
I guess it doesn't want me to see if there's a stronghold. I wonder. Will that help? That did it. Well, now I know for future reference, changing the view distance definitely fixes that glitchy stuff. What is that? Oh. Just a single pillar. Well, this adventure hasn't been very proper, prosperous. I'm just gonna make my way out. And. Well, it hasn't really provided me any kind of easy access to anything. I mean, I got a bit of glowstone. Or, actually, a pretty good chunk, apparently. Like, I should have, uh, just over 32 blocks. Maybe, like, 36? Hmm. Yeah. Sounds about right. Reclaim my torches. Pigmen don't need my torches. Which there's a lot of them down here. I'm using their butter swords. Hey, come over here, Magnus Slime. Come over here. Man, these guys got a lot of health, don't they? Okay, got that Magma Cream. Not that it doesn't mean any good without a brewing stand, but... And I realize I'm not doing a very good job of really talking this episode. Not really a whole lot to talk about. Maybe I'll tell you guys the uh, story of what happened trying to make some... Uh... It's not a very long one, but uh, I wanted to make some iced tea the other day. Right? And, of course pantry we have, my mom likes to seriously just stock up on things for no reason, things that just sit there and nobody ever uses them, but it actually gets to the point where, like, this pantry is, like, four feet wide and, like, eight feet long or something like that, I think that's a rough estimate, and it's got cupboards on one side, and then she has shelves on the other side, metal shelves, and then the entire thing is just filled with just stuff and like it's different mixes for random things and none of it ever gets used and then there's all these plastic containers that she doesn't like to get rid of but I was trying to find the uh the like big tea bags that uh she buys to make iced tea but it, it's not that easy like she said I think it's in a crate that was not very descriptive. Let's just put it that way. It was in a crate that was... That crate was under a crate that was under a plastic container that had containers in it. Kind of funny how that works out. Container reception, I guess. And uh, it, just, it was so buried that it was retarded like, you couldn't even hardly walk, like, two feet into the... Oh, shut up. That was a pretty slick one, huh? But you couldn't hardly walk into the pantry, and it was actually... When I finished, I'd actually... I did manage to eventually find it, obviously, by being able to tell you uh, where it was located. But, uh... When I left the, uh finished doing that, I was like, I left your pantry in more of a mess than it was when it started. Which is uh, a lot more inconceivable than you might think. And you know what? Story's retarded. But, uh, I couldn't think of anything else to tell you.
I have been playing the hell out of All Points Bulletin lately. I was thinking about getting some more videos up of that, but... I mean, they get a lot of views, but people still don't really comment. For some reason, people do not like to comment. I really want that glowstone. Uh, how with it? I can get it later. It's near my nether thing that I'm sure not too many people are going to be using. Because most of us don't even know where the others are. So, we're going to get a tally of how much glowstone we've gathered. We can actually convert it to glowstone so we can more easily see. In case you guys hadn't noticed, I have uh, workbenches up here with torches on them. Which was kind of a ninja action in itself, getting the torches on them. But, what are we at? 36. That is good. But unfortunately, now I have more crap that I have to store in a chest. Let's store this here. Mm. I really didn't gain too much from that adventure, did I? Other than glowstone, but I guess there's not really much else of a reason to go to the nether. Except for maybe potions that I don't really use anyhow. <laughs> Do you have some more gold? Uh, it hadn't finished smelting when I made that gold block. I, I hadn't smelted it until I needed that gold block. But, uh, I was thinking about making another diamond pick. I think I will. Um, I kind of want to get another enchanting level. I'll try and gain a few enchanting levels, and then uh, next episode try to find a nice cave to explore maybe over in the jungle and uh, yeah just break my legs jumping off of my upper floor but uh, I will see you guys in the next episode